Alright, hello everybody, Supervise here, and welcome back to my next Let's Play, Uncharted Drake's Fortune. Oh yes, I'm so excited for this. Okay, so before I get started here, we're gonna go over some explaining of the new features, because there's a bunch of them. Uh, the first feature is obviously the intro. It's nothing too special, but I like it, so. And next off, we're gonna explain, I'm gonna explain all of the different windows I've got going around the video footage and stuff. Uh, at the top right there are three buttons and that'll be used for navigating between the videos. You got a previous video button on the left, a playlist button on the middle which will have all the videos of this Let's Play series, and then the next uh, video on the right. So you can click those to quickly uh, skip between videos. And um, yeah. So then, to the left of the video, at the top you have my death counter. Because I'm going to be counting how many deaths I have over the entire series, just for fun. And also if you click on the death counter, you will, um, it'll take you back to the previous death. So you can check that out again if you want. And below that is the treasures now. I'm going to be trying to get as many treasures as I can from memory, so I'm not going to use any guides, any lists, nothing. I'm not even telling me, tell myself how many treasures there are in each chapter, I'm just going to go and see how many treasures I can get. So I'm going to try and get half the treasures, at least, and if you guys want, I can go back afterwards in a bonus episode and get all the treasures I missed. And below the total treasure count is the previous treasure collected, and I'll have an image of the last treasure and its name, and you can click on it just like you can the death counter and it'll take you um, right to the last treasure I got. So, oh yeah, there's one more feature. Whenever I'm in a cutscene, I'm gonna try and keep my talking to a minimal because there's really not much chance to talk during the cutscenes, but um, when there is a cutscene, you can just click the skip cutscene button and it'll take you right back to the gameplay if you don't feel like watching it. Anyway, let's get started. Start a new game here. And I don't want to keep treasures because we're doing this blank slate and we're doing it on crushing. This should be fun. I'm going to shoot for, oh, we'll say under 40 deaths. So let's get started then. Oh man, I'm so excited for this. I've been waiting for this for a while, but just been having trouble preparing all the new features, but I finally got it worked out. <laughs> Lots of failed attempts before. I'm pretty happy with the current uh, product I have going on. Alright, so here's the first cutscene, and again, you can click the button below the video to skip it if you want. There must be a beginning of any great matter, but the continuing unto the end, until it be thoroughly finished, yields the true glory. Sir Francis Drake, 1587. I will have subtitles on, so that'll be... Sometimes it's hard to understand what they're saying, so subtitles help. I am here off the coast of Panama, where we just recovered what we believe to be the coffin of legendary explorer Sir Francis Drake who was buried at sea over 400 years ago. Are you sure you want to be defiling your ancestors' remains like that? You make it sound so dirty. <laughs> Besides, I thought you didn't believe me. Well, I did do my research, and apparently Francis Drake didn't have any children. Well, history can't be wrong, you know. For example, you can't defile an empty coffin. What the hell? I love the way she says that line. It's hilarious. <laughs> you devil. What is it? Come on, hold it up. No, 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 no way. Deal was for a coffin. That's it. Wait a minute, if my show hadn't have funded this expedition, hey, hey, hey. you wouldn't have- you got your story, lady! 
Look, Mr. Drake, you signed a contract. <laughs> I have a right to see no, every single thing that you hold that thought. Sully, uh, we got some trouble. Hurry it up. Okay, okay. What's going on? Uh, uh, pirates. Pirates. <laughs> pirates. Yeah. The Caution guy. does not play well with others. They don't take prisoners. At least not male prisoners. Wait, what are you talking about? Uh, sh shouldn't we call the authorities or something? Yeah, that'd be a great idea, but we don't exactly have a permit to be here. What? Yeah, so unless you want to end up in a Panamanian jail, we should probably handle this ourselves. But what's worse? You obviously haven't been in a Panamanian jail. Do you know how to use one of these? Uh, yeah, it's like a camera. You just point and shoot, right? Good girl. <laughs> here we go. Okay, so this is our first instance of action. First fight scene in everything, oh yes. How the hell they find us out here? Anyway, they have a nice uh, Jack and Daxter reference with the wetsuits. They're by Otzel brand, which is uh, the race uh, Daxter was turned into in the first game. And also on Drake's wetsuit, um, there is Daxter's face on the left arm. The left shoulder right there. It's a nice reference back. I'll have to play the Jack and Daxter series one time or another. Oh yeah, and every once in a while you'll have these exploding barrels. And if you shoot them, well, they'll explode. Obviously. Oh no, you don't. Okay, so this goes over melee attacks. You can keep rapidly press square to do kind of a slow combo. And coming up here, it'll tell you how to do a brutal combo, which is more preferable to do because it's quicker. And you don't want to be get shot at while you're beating some guy up, because then you die, and that's not good. So you just do squ well, square, triangle, square, and it goes into brutal combo. And pretty much after you land one hit, you want to hit the next button in the sequence. And also, you, since I'm full ammo, it doesn't show, but enemies killed by brutal combo will drop double ammo than they normally do. So if you're getting low on ammo, that can be a good technique. Oh, I'm getting shot at. So we'll take these guys out. Oh, never mind. I messed that up. There we go. I'm about dead. Oh god, no. Well, that was unfortunate. We already died. That's pretty terrible. Uh, wow. This is a great start. <laughs> hey, where did dead body come from? I think it's just gonna... Okay, it skips us up ahead to the brutal combo section. Hopefully I can do this better this time. And also you get rewards for achieving some things. In this game, every reward is also a trophy, but I've already collected all the trophies, so it's not gonna show up. But yeah, those trophies were pretty much given for... Well, first one was given for doing five brutal combos, and the second one was getting for given for doing five brutal combos in a row. Okay, I'm gonna hide out here for a little bit. Kind of in crushing mode. You pretty much take a couple hits and you die. So you want to take cover and let yourself regain health a bit. And uh, yeah, shooting in the head is the best spot because it'll kill them one hit and you waste the least amount of ammo so usually try and aim for the head and you can see though that was ammo that was dropped by a enemy that I killed with brutal combo so he had dropped double ammo okay so that's I forgot to explain the story it's probably pretty confusing at this point but I'll get there in a little bit. So that's uh, Drake's buddy Victor Sullivan in the plane. I can't 
can't leave you alone for a minute, can I? Ah, I had everything under control until they blew up the boat. <laughs> you all right? Nothing that years of therapy won't fix. Well, if it isn't the beautiful and talented Elena Fisher. Flattery will get you screen time. Yeah, I'm more of a behind-the-scenes kind of guy. Victor Sullivan. Oh. <laughs> ah, for Christ's <laughs> sakes. I love the characters in this game. <laughs> what do you say we get out of here before we attract any more attention? Well? A little present from Sir Francis. Oh, so you found the carbon. Wait a minute, is this what I think it is? <laughs> Drake's lost diary. He faked his death, just like I said, Sully. He must have been onto something big. Yeah, well, let's just keep that between us. Thanks for the loan, Mr. Drake. I think I've earned a look at that diary when we land. So look, when Drake sailed into the Pacific, he took the Spanish fleet completely by surprise. He captured their ships, he took all their maps, their letters, their journals, and he recorded everything in this diary. Uh huh, so this. But when he got back to England, Queen Elizabeth confiscated all of his charts and logbooks, including this one, and then swore his entire crew to silence. Yeah, so this. You see, Drake discovered something on that voyage summit. Something so secret and so valuable, they couldn't risk it getting out. All right, Nate, just pretend for a minute that I don't really care about any of that stuff and cut to the chase, would you? <sighs> Man only interested in the climax. He must be a real hit with the ladies. Never had any complaints. Okay, then. I'll jump to the good part, just for you. I love this line coming up right here. Ho, ho, ho. What? El goddamn Dorado. <laughs> he was onto something just big he says right. it. Does it say anything I don't else? know. Something about oh, it. Oh, so now you're interested, huh? Yeah. Well, unfortunately, no. Last page was torn out. I'm telling you, Sully. This is it. This is finally it. Yeah. Only... We got one little problem. Yes, that's what I said. It blew up. It sank. No, that's why we have insurance, right? Oh. <laughs> oh no, the camera? No, the camera's fine. Don't worry about the camera. No. Still as good as new. Sully, the girl can hold her own. You should have seen her. Fine. You go on out there and you tell her, we just found the lost city of gold. Maybe her producer can get it on the air tonight. Oh, come on. Nate, do you trust me? More or less. <laughs> Good. Because we're going to have every two-bit scumbag in the world racing us to this treasure unless we cut her loose right now. You're a real gentleman, Sully. I know. It stinks. She'll get over it. No, I don't... I don't care for over budget. I mean... Do you realize that this could be, like, the biggest story of the year? <laughs> Hi. <laughs> no, I don't trust him, okay? That's why we need to move fast. So just get me the camera crew, and I promise you that... Aww. bitch. Hey! <sighs> Should've seen that one coming. Ugh. 